Hello everyone, welcome to Gauge How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus common interview questions on CFD that is Computational Fluid Dynamics and ANSYS. So let's quickly get started. What is CFD? CFD is Computational Fluid Dynamics which uses numerical methods to analyze fluid flow. What are the governing equations in CFD? The fundamental equations are continuity, momentum that is Navier strokes and energy equations. What is the difference between FDM, FEM and FVM? FDM uses finite differences. FEM divides the domain into elements and FVM conserves flux across control volumes. Basically, FDM stands for finite difference method, FEM for finite element method and FVM for finite volume method. What are boundary conditions in CFD? They include Dirichlet fixed value, Neumann fixed gradient, inlet or outlet, wall and symmetry conditions. And you can see the picture very well presents these conditions as well. What is turbulence modeling? It approximates turbulence effects using models like RANS, LES and DNS. Here, DNS stands for Direct Numerical Simulation, LES stands for Large Eddy Simulation and RANS stands for Reynolds Averaged Navier Strokes Simulation. What is the current number in CFD? Very important question. It is a stability criterion for time stepping defined as CO is equals to velocity into time upon grid size. What is simple algorithm in CFD? Simple algorithm which stands for semi-implicit method for pressure linked equations is used to couple velocity and pressure in incompressible flows. What is residual in CFD? Residuals indicate the error in governing equations during iteration and show convergence trends. What is Y plus in CFD and why is it important? Y plus is a dimensionless distance from the wall used in turbulence modeling to determine mesh refinement near walls. Basically, it just represents your mesh refinement near the walls, but it is going to be a dimensionless distance from that particular wall. What is a grid independent study? A study used to ensure simulation results do not change significantly with finer mesh resolutions. What is the role of turbulence models in CFD? Turbulence models approximate the effect of turbulence fluctuations as solving full turbulence is computationally expensive. Difference between steady state and transient simulations. Very simple question right here because steady state assumes time independence while transient simulations solve time dependent equations. Okay, so remember the difference, don't get confused. What is under relaxation factor in CFD? It controls the update step size of variables in iterative solvers to ensure stability. What is heat transfer in CFD and its types? Heat transfer occurs via conduction, convection and radiation. Every person who is in the third year of their mechanical engineering must have a subject called as heat and mass transfer and later in the next SEM or maybe in the same SEM they have a subject called as computational engineering in which this might be taught. Uh, so remember you have to bridge the gap from HMT to CFD real quick so that you understand CFD better because CFD analyzes your temperature distribution as well. What is multiphase flow? Flow involving multiple fluid phases that is gas, liquid, liquid, solid, etc. modeled using Eulerian and Lagrangian or VOF approaches. What is an implicit versus explicit solver? Important question again. Implicit solvers solve equations for all nodes simultaneously while explicit solvers use stepwise calculation. 
what is the difference between laminar and turbulent flow there is another video made about the same topic having different questions related to laminar turbulent flow reynolds number don't forget to watch the previous video for the same and the difference here is laminar flow has smooth layers while turbulent flow has chaotic mixing and requires turbulence models if you have seen the previous video tell me what value of Reynolds number is required for the flow to be laminar and turbulent in the comment section moving on to the next question what is mesh skewness and its impact mesh skewness measures deviation from an ideal shape while high skewness can reduce accuracy and convergence rate what are wall functions in CFD very beautifully explained with the help of figures wall functions model near wall behavior without resolving fine details saving computational costs what is adaptive meshing a technique where mesh refinement dynamically adjusts based on solution gradients to improve accuracy what is the purpose of residual monitoring in ANSYS Fluent? Very important question again. I'm sure if you uh, like the subject of CFD, you have already worked, I'm presuming you have already worked with ANSYS, HyperMesh and such softwares. So basically, residual track convergence, lower ruled residuals indicate a more accurate solution. So that's the reason why residual monitoring is given such a importance in ANSYS fluent what is solution initialization in ANSYS fluent it provides an initial guess for the solver to start the iteration process what is a pressure based solver versus density based solver very important question and many of them get confused here Pressure-based solvers are for incompressible flows while density-based solvers are for compressible flows. What is mesh convergence? When further mesh refinement does not significantly change simulation results ensuring accuracy. What is a VOF model in ANSYS Fluent? There was a question in which VOF was mentioned as an answer or the part of answer. The reason why I did not tell the full form of UF is because this question was very important and remember uh, this question might be asked in your exams as well to explain as a brief answer. So volume of fluid model tracks immiscible fluid interfaces in multi-phase flows. What are periodic boundary conditions? They assume repeating flow patterns in CFD simulations to reduce computational effect. What is LES in CFD? Large eddy simulation resolves large turbulent structures while modeling small scale turbulence. So remember, again, the figure is helping you guys to understand all the three terms that is RANS, LES and DNS better. What is mesh refinement? So I'm pretty sure if you have attended the practical sessions of ANSYS software and CFD subject, you might know that mesh refinement is done in order to increase the number of elements in a region with high gradients to improve the accuracy. So you can see the wrenches given in the picture and how the number of meshes or the number of elements in one particular region have been increased in order to achieve accuracy. What is mesh quality and how is it measured? Mesh quality is measured using skewness, aspect ratio and orthogonality metrics. Again, very important question. Mostly at the level of graduation studies, skewness and aspect ratio are mostly asked to be found out during the practical session, even during other numerical solving aspects. What is heat exchanger simulation in CFD? Analyzing fluid flow and heat transfer in heat exchangers to optimize efficiency. What is particle tracking in CFD? Simulating particle movement in a flow using Eulerian, Lagrangian or discrete phase model is nothing but particle tracking.
What is dynamic meshing? Mesh that adapts over time to accommodate moving boundaries or changing geometries. That is nothing but our dynamic meshing. So you can join 30 plus mechanical engineering courses like FEA with ANESIS with a lifetime access. And how is that possible? Just a simple step, become a Gage How Premium member by going to the gagehow.com website. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so that they also get better knowledge about ANSYS and CFD. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.